Hi Dresser Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Young Gru from Minions, The Rise of Gru. So let's get started. To draw cute Gru, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a big ovalish circle. There, or circle, doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to come right next to it, say about this wide, not too wide, but right there. And we're going to draw the same thing on the other side. There, so now I have my two uh, ovalish circles in. I'm going to come inside, closer to this edge, and I'll draw a circle inside. And then I'm going to come inside and draw another circle. So a smaller one right here, just for a highlight. And then I'm going to surround it with a circle. And then shade this part in. There, and this is going to be where the color of his eyes are. And if you have a highlight pen, you can just highlight this part right here and then you don't have to draw a circle. Okay, so let's do the same thing on this side. So closer to this edge now, go ahead and draw another circle. And the highlight once again. There. So I have my two eyes in. Now I notice this eye is a lot bigger, right? So I'm looking at my camera. Just come in here and fix it. So I'll go in there and wipe that out a little bit later. Okay, so I'll approximate now. <laughs> so then let's go up above the eye. So you about right here. And I'm just going to draw a soft curve over the eye and then thicken it up for his brows and shade it in. And same thing on the other side, but right here. Just a soft curve and down. There. Then let's draw his nose. So right in the center, I'm going to come about right here, right in between. And I'm just going to draw this curve, a uh, softened out V, I guess you would call it. And come up. Right there. And then I'm going to come to the sides and just a very small little curve on the sides. And then let's draw his smile. So right underneath about right here, I'm going to go ahead and draw this wide curve. Goes upwards and cap it off. And then right underneath about right here, just softly draw a small little curve. So there, we got his face in and then now we have, I mean, his eyes and his mouth. And so then let's go ahead and frame his face. So I'm going to find the center of my eye. So let's say about right here, I'm going to come out and just give myself a point. And same thing over here. Just approximate, but right there. And I'm going to basically draw the bottom of a U, kind of wide and flattened out. So right here, just draw a curve and a curve. And I'm going to bring it all the way down to say about right here. I'm just going to give myself a point so I know where I'm going. Just a little bit easier since I'm drawing big. And I'm going to flatten this curve out from there and connect on this side. There. So I have this wide bottom of a U, right? So a little bit flattened out. Okay, so then now that I have that, let's go ahead and we're going to go up over here. We're going to go at an angle towards his brow and same, not as much here, but same thing. We're just going to curve inwards and let's go up just not too much, just a little bit over his brow. And then from here, we're going to curve across and connect. So just notice this side is a little bit more angular. For his hair. Then about right here on this side right here we're going to part his hair. So let's go up on this side and down on this side and we're going to bring it down 
to about right here kind of like the bottom of his eye and then this side we're gonna go up just swept hair across and then let's bring it down to about right here and bring it in and before I forget I'm just gonna come right here and just pop out two strands and then his ears we're gonna pop them out about right here curve and just got two curves inside so same thing on the other side I'm just gonna drag a point across and to about right here so a curve there and a curve inside and let's see here that's pretty much it for his face so then now let's go ahead and draw his body so right in this area nice and wide we're just going to wobble two curves same thing over here we're just going to wobble and about right here now that I'm pretty even on both sides I'm going to go ahead and connect it towards the center then go right back up so this is his scarf right here and then let's come in a little bit so let's say about right here and here just like the other side and we're going to start to draw the side of his jacket so let's bring this down and down so take a look how long you want to make his jacket so let's bring this down a little bit more and say about right there and pretty even on both sides now let's work on the inside so this is the center so let's come about right here right underneath his scarf and I'm going to draw a circle for the buttons on his jacket so just remember his jacket is this tall so I'm just going to put about right here another circle for another button and then right here we're going to go down with a straight line and before I forget I'm going to come right about here and I'm going to draw his scarf the ends of his scarf that so tucks under so let's say about right here I'm going to pass his jacket I know his scarf is longer than his jacket and I'll just stop about right there for now and then about right here to here I'm going to go ahead and connect and then let's go up on this side to connect to about right there for his jacket and then let's come down a little bit let's see here um, come down a little bit then here and we're going to draw that little shirt he has inside across so just tucking it in and then now that we know that's about right here let's go ahead and connect his scarf then for his legs let's come to the center once again so say about right here I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a soft curve then his legs are gonna start right here we're gonna curve and curve then let's come over here so just imagine his bottom about right here and here there so just imagining like this is the bottom right here and then we're going to start to flare it out so let's come in On both sides so now we're going to start to draw skinny little legs so let's bring this down a little bit more and about right there I'll stop and then connect so then let's go down again for his little legs then cut it off for his shoes and we're going to come down and then just curve it out so just simplify his shoes and connect so same thing on the other side there 
Okay, so then we have his shoes in. Now to draw his arms. So let's come back where his scarf is, right here. We're just gonna draw a curve that comes all the way down past. And about right here, I'm just gonna angle in and connect. So we want his hands past about this here area. So connect, little cuff, and then his hands. So we're gonna draw a thumb. And then we're gonna come back right here, round it, and then his fingers. So same thing over here, just like the other side. So I'm just gonna drag a point just to make sure my hands are about the same length. Bring it in, little cuff and fingers. There. Okay, so we're almost done. Um, then we have a pocket right here. Just gonna add a pocket in this area. And I'll add a heart on his pocket to make it my draw so cute young grew. And um, let's see here, what else? Oh, and then the stripes on his scarf. Um, just wanna show, I think they're like a dark gray, so I'm not gonna shade them in, but in the center, it's a little bit straighter, and then we're just going to go a little curve this way as we come on this side. And then on this side, it's gonna curve the other way. So I just wanna show you how you could draw the stripes. And some here as well. And one more. There, and that is pretty much it for my version of Young Gru here. And I'll come in here really quickly, wipe this part out so it doesn't look like he has a black eye. So they're all done. I really hope you love this drawing of young Gru and that I helped you draw him fun and easy. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.